Now as we count down to hurricane season 2022, a look at Florida Power and Light's latest tools designed to help restore power to our homes and businesses after a storm strike. FPNL showed off the cutting edge technology, including a new state of the art drone at its annual simulated hurricane drill today. CBS 4's Austin Carter has details from an FPNL substation in Pompano Beach. Well, these substations are critical to getting the power back on and substations are so crucial because they bring power to thousands of customers at a time. All the more reason for today's FPL storm drill. As hurricane season knocks on our door, Florida Power and Light is making sure they are ready to respond. Inside their Riviera Beach Command Center Thursday, a simulated Category 3 hurricane is hitting the panhandle. Due to the technology that we have and the smart grid, we're able to see where all of the outages are. All of that information is fed into this command center so that we can best direct the crews where they need to be. Out in the field, crews will soon have some new tools to get power back on even faster. Outside the command center sits FPL Air One, their new fixed wing drone. FPL hopes the technology will reduce long restoration times. But after severe weather, we'd be able to see and, and assess the energy grid and see what type of damage may have been caused and identify where our crews need to go uh, to get the lights back on for our customers safely and as quickly as possible. Also on display, this fully autonomous rover for substations to safely check substation equipment after rough weather. You can drive them around, take pictures of fence lines, security perimeters, equipment. It's got, uh, you know, a visual camera on it also has a thermal camera so it can see things that you know normally we wouldn't see by just driving by. And of course FPL is working throughout the entire year inspecting their power poles and making sure that any vegetation is away from power lines. Now coming up at 7 we're speaking with a line worker about the process of restoring power and who gets their power back first. In Pompano Beach I'm Austin Carter CBS 4 News.